Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, hit the like button if you like and subscribe. And uh, when you subscribe it does help my channel. And uh, I appreciate it so very much. And I'm hoping everybody had a blessed, blessed uh, yesterday. And this is early a.m. at 2.33 a.m. my time here in Iowa. And uh, so I hope today will be a blessed day for you also. Well, my first uh, article here is uh, the fraud that happened with the COVID. It amounts to billions that was defrauded from the fund for the COVID. Uh, it's terrible. Yes, GOP congressman expresses concern. I would too, wouldn't you? <laughs> According to an Inspector General's report released on Thursday, the COVID pandemic led to approximately 45.6 billion unemployment benefits fraud. The infusion of hundreds of billions in federal funds into the UI unemployment insurance program gave individuals, organized crime groups, a high value target to exploit. The Labor Department Inspector uh, General reported stated that combined with easily unattainable stolen person, personally identifiable information and continuing UI program weaknesses allowed criminals to defraud the system. What a shame. An announcement from Labor Department IG Larry Turner on Thursday noted that over a thousand criminals had been charged with fraud thanks to the Inspector General's finding. I hope they catch every one of them. Fraudsters, fraudsters, that's what the word is, fraudsters, were able to use social security numbers stolen from prison inmates and dead people in order to receive government checks. The criminals also used fraudulent email accounts, filing for unemployment benefits in multiple states. Wonder if Iowa was one of them. Hmm. During an appearance on Newsmax, the court on Saturday, Representative Warren Davidson, Republican of Ohio, expressed concern about unemployment fraud and additional reports of mispending allocated funds, stating that the information from the report may be just the tip of the iceberg. Probably so. I got my ideas, but I'll keep my ideas to myself at this time. <laughs> the Ohio Republican also discussed lessons learned from the pandemic about what not to do should a similar emergency arise. Don't close the economy, Davidson said. Don't deem some people non-essential and others essential. And also don't put money out there with no strings attached. The congressman went on to point to good news, noting that many of the funds had cleared guidelines and Congress Inspector General has the power to keep track of money. Nonetheless, Davidson stated that the House Overnight Committee will be focusing on the administration's role in holding individuals and states accountable. According to the Wall Street Journal, over $872 billion has been paid out in unemployment since the start of the COVID pandemic in March of 2020. The Inspector General's report of $45.6 billion in unemployment fraud is like an underestimation, as Davidson noted. The American Enterprise Institute's Matt Weldendler, Widdinger, Matt Weidinger, Weidinger, W-E-I-D-I-N-G-E-R, agreed that the assessments and comments to the journal stating, while these are shocking and huge, they fall far short of what we expect these numbers to be. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. In the same interview, Davidson discussed the issue of inflation, saying that he is glad that the Federal Reserve Chair, Jerome Powell, has finally admitted the inflation is growing and discussed how it's affecting Americans. 
how long has this been going on? You know, the inflation, the criminals, the crime. Oh my goodness. And probably worse since the pandemic started. I still don't understand how that actually got started. And I did a video uh, showing where they have uh, captive bats in cages sent to the labs and they're going to be tested to see if they carry any kind of a virus that would have you know killed as many people as it did and made as many sick as it did and I'm anxious to hear that report people are working for 12 months and at 8.3 percent so they're getting 11 months pay the reality is that some people aren't even getting that for four years of work the congressman said yeah because they've the raise that they got has been taken away by less hours to work layoffs and God knows what else we knew when we started spending all this money more than anyone would even lend us we're going to eventually have we are going to eventually have inflation Davidson continued that's why we created the Sound Money Caucus. Caucus. Cactus. I'm okay, folks. I really, I had a good nap. I got plenty of rest. Did a little work around the house, and I'm, I'm good to go. <laughs> we called it out for a long time, and finally now it's here. It's time to turn some of this spending off. And unfortunately, we see many of our colleagues just saying the cure for inflation is even more government and more spending, he added. That's not true. How's spending more money going to help anybody? Because it's not helping us. They want to spend more money of all that money they have in the back. Why don't they send us out our $2,000 and $3,000 checks to everybody? That wouldn't even touch the bottom of the barrel of all that money they've got stashed back. Who are they kidding? Why do they think we're so stupid? You know, that just floors me. Mm, 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 mm. Now, some of these videos are going to be kind of short because I am locked and loaded here and ready to rumble, as young group would usually say. Are you ready to rumble? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, here was uh, kind of a sad article, and it's not here that I know that has happened in the States, or any state, and this comes from another uh, country, but my goodness, eight dead due to electric scooter catching fire in a showroom. Now, I have a scooter. It's not built like these are. But uh, it's got a nice picture of them here, and I will put that on as a thumbnail. Yeah. Electric-powered vehicles have long been touted. Is that T-O-U-T-E-D? Touted or tooted? Tooted would be T-O-O-T-E-D, right? Touted. What, what does touted mean? Can't they find just a even ground word that we all know? <laughs> I found that word in many articles, and I don't know whether I'm pronouncing it right or not, but that's how it's spelled, T-O-U-T-E-D, by Equiva uh, Environmental act Activist as a step toward addressing climate change. But critics point out a number of potential risks associated with embracing the relatively new technology. Send one to Biden. <clears throat> Among the most alarming recent reports was an incident at an electric scooter dealership in Mumbai, India. According to local police, one device caught on fire and quickly led to the death of eight individuals, leaving another 11 injured. Unfortunately, such explosions are not uncommon, though this one resulted in far more casualties than most. My goodness! They wired that sucker wrong, didn't they? <laughs> I mean, that exploded, they said, right here. Un unfortunately, such explosions. 
Glad that wasn't any showroom here in the States, for heaven's sakes. Saddened by the loss of lives. Oh, I should say so, Lord God. Uh, due to the fire in Siskander Abad, Talanga, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Siskander Abad, Talanga, tweeted Indian Prime Minister Narinda Modi, M-O-D-I, Modi, and Narinda Modi. Condolences to the bereaved family. Oh, God, yes. Yes. From all over. May the injured recover soon. Yes. After the fire erupted in the hotel basement that contained roughly two dozen scooters, it soon began to spread, threatening the lives of staff and guests in the building as the structure filled with smoke. Those staying on the first and second floors were overpowered by smoke Maximum casualties are from those floors. Please source confirmed. Another law enforcement official said the fire remains under investigation, adding, we don't know if it started because of overcharging and then spread or whether it started elsewhere. Experts say faulty batteries are at the root of most of these potentially deadly incidents. Although rare, Electric-powered automobiles are also susceptible to fires that can be difficult or impossible to combat. The reason lies in the fact that when the lithium battery ignites, the lithium-ion batteries ignite, they burn at a higher temperature, and it takes a massive amount of water to fully extinguish. See where Biden's putting us? <laughs> I wonder if he's bought one yet. Has that ever occurred to any of, of you sitting out there in this uh, la-la land? You know? I just wonder. Because he's all mouth. Green deal. Well, surely he's purchased one by now. Wouldn't you think? <clears throat> Making matters worse, burned batteries are capable of reigniting for up to days after the initial blaze burns out. That means that vehicles in storage could pose a danger of fire more destructive than the scooter showroom in India. <clears throat> They've got a picture of it here. Mm -mm -mm. The chief fire officer in Lower Marion, Pennsylvania, Recalled one incident in which a burning Tesla reached temperatures that melted the pavement below it. Oh my, really? Now, I did not know this. It did in the United States. Wow. Lower Marion, M-E-R-I-O-N, Moran, Pennsylvania. An incident. Burning Tesla reached temperatures that melted the pavement below it. <clears throat> oh my. Emma Sutcliffe, Sutcliffe, an industry expert in Australia, explains a lot of the time firefighters and fire agencies are just expected to kind of figure it out. And that's where Biden wants America. And who's paying him to back that Green Deal up? Who wants our country so bad that they're willing to put our lives in danger no matter what it costs? Think about it. You are amazing, a blessing. And I love having you in my channel. Looking for my shut off button here. I'm going to go for now. And I'll be back later. Bye.